Council President is sitting to my left. Council Clerk, would you do the roll call, please? Councilor Martin. Present. Councilor Thomas. Present. Councilor Graham is absent. Councilor Vice President King. Present. And Council President Wheeler. Present. Minutes to be approved. Mr. President, I move that the October 13th agenda review meeting be approved. Second. It's been moved and second. Call the roll, please. Councilor Martin. Yay. Councilor Thomas. Yay. Council Vice President King. Yay. Council President King. <coughs> Yay. Okay, October 13th agenda review has been approved. Mr. President, I move that the October 13th Finance Committee meeting be approved. Second. Mr. Moving a second. Call the roll, please. Council Martin. Yay. Council Thomas. Yay. Council Vice President King. Yay. And Council President Lisa. Yay. Mr. President, I move that the October 18th regular council meeting be approved. Second. The rule is properly second. Call the roll, please. Council Martin. Yay. Council Thomas. Yay. Council Vice President King. Yay. Council President Lee. Yay. Mr. President, I move that the October 25th Personnel and Appointments Committee meeting be approved. Yay. The rule is properly second. Mm -hmm. Call the roll. Councilor Martin. Yay. Councilor Thomas. Yay. Council Vice President King. Yay. And Council President Lee. Yay. Okay, we'll go to remarks of the public on agenda items only. There's only one agenda item. Is there anyone who has not spoken on it that would like to speak on it for two minutes? Two minutes. Say when. Go right ahead, please. Okay. Devin Branch, I would just again like to reject emphatically any insinuation that there's any connection between recall elections and, a con and any contract or activity between legacy communications. There is no connection. As the person who pulled the petitions for recall, as the person who was perhaps the lead organizer of that effort, effectively the person driving that train, I can assure everyone that train is going forward full steam ahead until Gary Norton is out of office as mayor of City of East Cleveland. There will be no let up, only an intensified campaign. So there, so there, and there's been no, there's been no discussion of any let up, and if, and definitely none with me. And since this is yes, this is about this, right? Yes, this is what we're talking about. So there is no, so this should, this should dissuade anyone from thinking that that is the case. I want him out, and there will be, and there's no deals that anyone can make to change that reality. So that, that's not the case. The reality is we have a resident of East Cleveland who's been treated worse than any other contractor that comes before the city. We have a black contractor that has his business and his business operating permit in East Cleveland and has for about a decade that has served for free as a public officer for the city of East Cleveland at great expense to himself and is offering the city a significant cost reduction, less than for worse services that you've paid for, and has decided to forego suing the city, though it could. And when you tack on interest and other things after a period of years where not a single dime was collected, then this could be costly for the city. Why do that? You have someone willing to accept a significant <coughs> reduction in cost. This is not just an, people think of legacy communication as an individual and not as a company. Individuals come to work with their ink pens. They don't come to work with the capital equipment that does the work, all of which costs money, all of which depreciates. And they definitely don't come to work with other people that they are paying out of their own pocket at over $15 to $20 an hour. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, order is 15, 16. I am trying to fathom, and maybe you can help me, as to uh, what's driving this piece of legislation and, uh, and what, what, pro um, what problem does it cause to say it's an emergency for the public safety and health. I don't, I don't know whether I, I heard the speaker before he spoke in reference to uh, I guess uh, the piece for the twenty thousand dollars. I don't know, but I, as I said before, if that's what it's for, and I would like for someone to elucidate on this as to 
what is this piece of legislation and what is the emergency in, in, in reference to this. I know sometimes we use emergency very loosely, but uh, as he kind of deviated off to that, and I will end with this. The citizens of these United States have the right any grievances they have with their government, or people that work in that government, to recall them. That is their constitutional right to do so. So I would implore you to perhaps cogitate and myrtle before you make, ex uh, make statements and what have you. The citizens of this community have a right to recall anyone sitting up here as long as along with the mayor and the judge, everybody else. They have that right. That's their constitutional rights, and no one can deny yeah, that. Ten seconds, that. please. <laughs> so, I know I have maybe one second after I start. Please, so, residents, agenda items rights. only, please. I am, right I am here to speak regarding the one resolution that is on the agenda. And I am concerned that the agenda says nothing right. about how the uh, budget is to be amended and that for us to be able to make a, a sensible comment in favor of or opposed to it, we need to have more information. Right. The one thing I would like to say is that I'm very um, displeased that so many of uh, of the resources that we have, either our own or uh, resources that are coming in from the county land bank or whatever, are used to demolish structures that should remain standing. I am absolutely furious about what happened on Farmington Road. Thank you. East Cleveland citizens and East Cleveland. <coughs> Need to know that these Cleveland workers are the lowest paid in the city, in the state, but they do their jobs. East Cleveland fine people will come out and do their jobs right here. Same thing. They do their jobs instead of.